If you guys want to get notified whenever I buy or sell a player, make sure to follow me on ultimatetrader.club, sign up for free now, and check how I make coins with my trading journal. How's it going everyone and welcome to another market watch video if you guys followed my last market watch video You've seen that some prices of many wants to watch cards went up over this weekend If you think you missed the window to buy don't worry There's going to be another slide drop tomorrow where you guys can hold or buy your wants to watch cards that you think can have a good game next weekend as predicted, also the lowest price wants to watch cards have tanked in value. We knew this would happen, so GG's if you haven't jumped in on any of those investments. If you guys need any investing ideas in the winter wants to watch cards, I do think Walcott can have some chance of getting a great performance soon. He was voted man of the match by Fitmap today, which I do think will just give him more space in the upcoming matches with Everton. João Mario has also a good chance of scoring goals as he plays right behind the main striker in the team, meaning his attacking position can provide some goals and get him hyped up. As you guys seen, Bachuay has also had a good game, but EA won't give him another Team of the Week card next week, so keep that in mind. EA does not do back-to-back -back informs. Keep in mind that players like Obama and Sanchez Salah can heavily drop over the Lunar New Year period. If EA provide us with half-price packs on coins promotion, the highest price cards will drop in value. If we look at this Team of the Week, I seriously wouldn't target any of the current higher price cards that go over 100k. But price-wise, I would say you would be safest to invest in cards who go for absolute discard. One such example is Lafont. He's pretty solid French goalkeeper and I do think he will go eventually up, but of course it should take some time. I do think such a card can settle to 15k or over after the Lunar New Year period. The likes of Chiesa are also pretty good in terms of a low priced investment. Alex Telles is a card I have been monitoring as a really good investment, but he hasn't moved much at all, so I am unsure if he'd be a great pick regarding to how Team of the Week 20 is stagnating in the price progressing into the Lunar New Year. If the Lunar New Year will bring these cards down, it could be very likely that they will be lower than what they are now. A card that seems like a good buy under the value of 30k could be Ramsey. He links to Bale and I do think people will use him in their BPL teams. However, keep in mind, Lunar is close and there's always chance that he goes even lower. Regarding the newest man of the match cards, last week man of the matches as examples on Rakitic and Sanabria show were at their lowest on Saturday the day they went out of packs. This is probably due to wants to watch as being introduced on the market. Keep in mind, similar could happen to the current man of the match cards as they are going into the Lunar New Year period. Before you guys ask me about player of the month investments, I do think many of these cards are already inflated. Looking at some Argentinian cards who are already pretty high in price. If you haven't invested a week or two ago you could be selling those in the hype sometime next week but if you don't hold any at this time i don't think it will be profitable to invest in these cards if you guys are new make sure to subscribe to this channel as the lunar new year is really close we will be monitoring prices and evaluate a time on when to buy players for cheapest also please avoid asking me questions when to sell players as if you're watching these videos you would already done that last week thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time